Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over a coin called Cardano. And uh, what I'm going to do, oh, by the way, if you just stand here, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. What I'm going to do is today I'm going to uh, present some information about Cardano, what I think possibly can going on. By sussing this out, I have not done this yet because I was hoping that Cardano would correct deeper. And it's not correcting uh, as deep as I thought it would be correcting. So now I'm going to uh, be proposing something different. Most people on this channel, not on this channel, most people outside this channel, I should say, not my followers, are probably not going to believe what's going to be going on with Cardano, okay? So am I saying there's going to be more downside? No, I'm not. There's going to be potential to uh, make a significant amount of dinero in the next run. But getting out at the top is going to be critical, more critical than ever with any of these coins that are coming up. Now, if you just are new to this channel um, and you're not aware of it, I am not a believer in holding altcoins or cryptocurrencies long term because they retrace 90 percent, 90 percent. So let's put that in a dollar value. If you have a bag of Cardano and it's at the top at ten thousand dollars, retraces 90 percent. It goes all the way down to a thousand dollars. That's not a strategy. That's not a strategy. That's not a smart strategy. Anybody who's in business and has something that went down 90% in value would get would be like they would reevaluate and say, wait a second. It wouldn't have gotten that far, as a matter of fact. Okay, so um, you want to have risk mitigation. If something happens, it starts dropping really, really far like that, say 20, 30%, whatever your tolerance is, it's time to cut those losses, get rid of it, and get onto a horse that makes sense. Okay, instead of using hope, hope. Hope's not a strategy, guys. Hope is only hope. And there's nothing wrong with hope. I have hope that there's a FOMO fifth wave, but I could be wrong. But I'm using data to support my little bit of hope. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, suss this out real quick. I'll show you. And then at the end for Cardano, I'm going to show you, I'm going to propose what I think is a possibility that's going to be going on with Cardano. But let's suss out its uh, correction right now. First, I want to show in the weekly. It did come down on the weekly nice and deep, okay, on this third wave. It took that out. It took everything out. So here's the 2018 bottom of its bear right here. It took that out. And here is the 2020 crash. And it took that out. So Cardano is setting itself up. You can see the uh, uh, it's slowing up here. It's kind of like... Um, what some people would call on other channels, I would, they base an out or something like that to get itself ready to do another wave run, okay? So let's go into that correction on the 12 hour chart. I'll show you a little bit of what's going on here. Did it, in my opinion, it's doing a zigzag. And uh, this is a very ugly five wave, any diagonal here, and then a one, two, three, four, five, um, that it came down, very, very ugly. It's very difficult to suss that out. And then over here is another zigzag that it's doing. And this is a third wave, third wave down. And then here is a peak of that third wave. It came out and took it out. Everything right here on this 12 hour chart. I go to the daily chart. I can confirm that on the RSI, deepest on right there. So a third wave. So you can expect Cardano more than likely on the RSI, it's not gonna break that wave, but the price should break this wave guys down here somewhere, okay? Um, I do have a target of 30 cents, 29, 30 cents for Cardano is what I'm expecting. It's finally swing back down there. So let's break this down with Cardano. What is going on? I've uh, sussed it out. There's a, uh, a one, two, three here. It went up on this four and swung down here onto this five. Okay. So here's a four, five. So what I did is actually take that off and went like this. So it went up, swung down, and then blasted up like that. So that's the reason why I went with this more than likely was an end right here of a fifth wave. So it's like so, guys. So a, a one, two, three, and then here, four, five, like so. Okay, then it has another one behind it. One, two three and then it's in another four and then coming down for a five so i think cardano could be in its last leg more or less like that guys so more than likely cardano is going to be doing something kind of like this something like that guys and then i'm looking for a uh, target of about 30 cents now what i did too over here's the third wave i sussed out the counts of this wave to see if i could find a fourth wave over here 
and more than likely this will be the area guys so this is um one of the reasons why I'm pick, choosing this area right here, I think just makes a lot more sense, okay? Come back to that previous fourth wave, peak over here and over here, and Cardano should have a target in those areas, enough to bring it down. Don't be surprised if it looks down below there either too in those higher 20s or something like that with Cardano, okay, guys? So that's the, uh, the correction. What would it be doing? Just a uh, simple zigzag. So this up here, would be your A, your B, and then back down for a C, like so, guys. And then if I check the fibs on something like that, you know, the 1.0, the 1.0 the is that area. You know, another target would be 1.618 or anywhere between there and there. That's pretty deep for a coin like this. So still expecting that. If it does hit that and starts really re reaching through there at one point, it just it won't make sense with this wave, though. This wave would be too long even though it could extend, but I doubt I doubt that with a coin like this. So that would still be the area, target area that I'm looking for with Cardano. Still about that 30 cents area, guys. So it's just holding on to this area really good. Just stuck in a fourth wave in those areas. So what's been going on? Zoomed up on that flat, stuck now fourth, and I think now it's making its journey down. All right, guys. So now I'm going to go over the uh, overall big picture with you on Cardano and give you an idea what I think is a good possibility that is going on with this. Like I said, I've been waiting to present this before I jump to conclusions on this to see what could be going on. And I'm going to suss this up for you, explain to you why. Here's a massive wave that it did, okay? This is a massive, massive wave. It shot up, what was that, 16,000%. Over here, you have another massive wave, okay? It shot up 7 7,200%, and that is an impulse wave. So you have a massive wave here. You have a deep correction here. This was a 98%, 99% correction that Cardano did. Then this massive wave, and then you have this correction over here that's shallow, okay? With this wave to this wave, then to this wave, it's not making sense just to say this is one, two, three. There's no way that right now that Cardano is going into a third wave. It doesn't make any sense at all. And also, this wave came here, and it took it out in the in the 2020 crash. So here's the 18 bear market, and here's the 2020 crash, and you can see that it took it out, okay? So the reasonable expectation with Cardano would have been one, two, three. This is a four and a five. Can't You can't say that. I check this right here, guys. Those, there's candle bodies that are below that. It's not a wick. So if I take out the wicks, you can see it's still below it. You know, on this weekly chart, there's a little bit, a little bit of hope right there. That is a possibility on the weekly chart. If I check the daily chart, um, it took it out quite a bit. You see, that's why I'm not going to use that as that one too. It could be, but the result. If this is uh, what I'm saying is if this is a let me go back to the uh, candles. If this is a one two down here, perhaps somehow it's finagling that off. This is the three. It's coming down for four and it's going to bust out a five. OK, but now let's say that I propose that. Let's say that somehow it's going to do this a one, two, three, four, and then it's going up for a five. Now you have this back here. You have this one, two, and this is this will be huge. This will be years and years down the road, wherever that will be. Years and years down the road, guys. So this would be a one, two. However, this is what I'm going to say that there's a probability that Cardano could be doing because of this wave and this wave and this wave to this wave, okay? This is a really good chance of what I think is could be going on with Cardano. If you take a, a trend line, I'm going to put it from the top of this wave to the top of that wave and go through the top of that other wave, just like so. I'm going to take another trend line from that wave and then wherever it ends up, like so, guys, okay? And bring this one all the way up until they touch. So let's say Cardano does go to 30 cents more or less, something like that, that this could be based off this RSI data. Okay, you see, this, is, this came out on the RSI like a third wave. Okay, so where's it second? Where's it second? Is that it? 
Is that the second? It doesn't make, see how deep it went? Doesn't make sense. So this is what I'm going to propose, that this here is the one based off that RSI data, came down, made a long, drawn out second wave, blasted up onto this third wave. It's coming down based off this RSI data for a fourth, and then it's going to go up to $5 on this fifth. And that will be, this right here will be the uh, last wave for Cardano. It's doing a, a contracting diagonal. It's a leading diagonal. And with a leading diagonal, you can have impulses or zigzags in this move. The only ones that have to be zigzags are the corrections. And this plainly is in the zigzag family. This right here is in the zigzag family. So it fits. And it makes a little bit more sense to me based off my FOMO fifth wave theory that you're going to get just this. Okay. And the reason you want to be exiting out of this in this area. OK, as an example, if it does do that is because this will be your one and this will be your two and it's going to come right back to where it was. And I suspect, you know, this is all just speculation that this wave two is going to drag on for probably at least however long this took. This took 805 days. So that wave two is going to probably take at least that long, something like that, guys, you know, say 700, 800 days, something like that, all the way out to 24 or 25, maybe even longer. And then Cardano will be going into this wave. All right, guys. Hey, my thoughts on there. Like I said, I didn't present this until I thought because I wanted Cardano to come down more. I felt if it was down into these areas, I would have felt a lot more comfortable saying, OK, yeah, it's it's warming itself up. But right now it just doesn't make sense to me. OK. The, this is the option back down to 30 cents. This is the option in a leading contracting diagonal or somehow the data is, is not correct in here and it didn't go that deep. And maybe back here is a one, two, three, four, five. But at the end of the day, if this data is not correct and it's coming down to do a fourth wave correction, the result more or less could be the same. Now, for the moon boys, the good news is, is that can it overthrow its diagonal on a fifth wave, a FOMO fifth wave? Yes, it can. It could easily, boom, go way up there like that. And then from, if it does do something like that, perhaps if it does, it goes from here to here. Those That's massive, especially if you're, by, if you got it down here, even down here, this is a massive amount of uh, gains on that move. All right, guys, that's the end of my video for Cardano. What I think is going on, like I said, I didn't want to put this out there until I saw uh, Cardano go down more in depth of price, okay? What it is, it's food for thought, something to consider. Plan things out well ahead, well in advance when you're in this market because based off my theory of the FOMO fifth wave theory and the coming recession where you don't have high unemployment yet, it's only 3.6%. You don't have the uh, steepening yield curve yet with the 10-year and the two-year telling you that the uh, recession is here. You have signals that telling you the recession is not here yet, but it's gonna be coming. And there's enough for one last push and then get out guys right here. Get out before this. Made all the way to the end, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, peace.